Hello, hello. Hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. I'm super excited here on Kelly Frick Connect for us to be able to connect to our community here in Georgetown. So today's amazing interview is going to be with Ginger and we are going to have lots of fun. So Ginger is going to share a little bit about who she is, what she does, and how you can connect with her. And I'm also going to ask her a few oils questions because you know me, the oily lady, I got to ask oils questions always. So let's dive in and let's talk to Ginger. So Ginger, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> well, I am a wife and mom. I have four sons. I'm going to just look at you. I can't you can look at okay. whatever. Okay. Um, I have raised four teenage boys. I have 21, 19, 17, and 14 year old. So for, oh, I guess the first seven years of my adult life after I got married, I just did different kinds of jobs trying to figure out where I fit in. Um, before I, I didn't plan to talk about this, so let's go. Before I had children, I worked in the um, crisis pregnancy ministry, which I totally loved. Oh, I did that and actually in the Chicago area, Milwaukee, and then in Austin, and then I was involved with the one in Georgetown here. So that was really something that I learned about myself is that I enjoyed jobs where I could have um, a role in helping people solve their problems. Um, so I had a degree in psychology, which we just talked about, whether I use that or don't use that. Um, we all can use psychology. I'm but right? when, so when I when I started having babies, it was really our goal. I mean, I wanted to be a stay at home mom, and so I did that. Um, I mean, I still I still think of myself as a stay at home mom, even though I have a business because I I run my life as my business kind of integrated together. Um, but about twelve years ago, I started partnering with a company called Juice Plus, and that was more just as a hobby, something I wanted to do for my own family, and I'll talk more about why that is and what that is, but um, as the time came where I wanted to sort of transition to being having something besides just um, running my house, and there's nobody there during the day, so I wanted to do something and contributing to our family income, I decided to create um, a business with the company because that's what, that's kind of how they promote their product and how they distribute their product through independent um, distributors, we call ourselves partners. So what I do now is I help people find solutions to their health issues or their, whether in the area of prevention, they are healthy, they understand the impact nutrition has on good health, or finding out if increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables that they flood through their body is maybe going to solve some of the problems that they have. So I kind of call myself a solution finder or a connector. Um, but the area that I focus on is just pretty much this product and what this company offers, which is 100% plant-based, very small line of products that helps people bridge the gap. That's our tagline, we help you bridge the gap. It's the next best thing to fruits and vegetables, but we also do quite a bit of educating about why that is important. Um, we all know we're supposed to eat fruits and vegetables. Our moms told us that our whole lives, but what we know now is that it's actually a lot more important than we, I think, understood. We yes. see what the lack of it is doing in our culture, in our country, right. our kids, and our families. And then on the other side of that coin, what happens when we switch that switch back on and the mm -hmm. huge positive impact it can have. So that's what I do now is as a partner with the company, educate, connect people with solutions, and I also have a network of other people that are creating their own business and helping people and so we spread out that way and it can help more that's awesome and just a few that's awesome so how did you learn about juice plus what drew you to it <clears throat> well i was not super interested in nutrition as i was growing up i was a picky eater and my parents enabled that um and i didn't i didn't care a whole lot about it until i was pregnant honestly um the only thing i really was motivated by would be vanity before that like oh I need to lose weight so I better eat healthy whatever and I probably didn't eat healthy I probably just did something unhealthy like eat a bunch of fat free crackers or something no no <laughs> which now we're learning that that's sure not healthy. Oh, sure that's not really it's <laughs> cholesterol fee marshmallows no cholesterol <laughs> um but when I started having kids I obviously cared a lot about that. So I started learning, going down the whole natural ro road um, with natural childbirth and breastfeeding, and then I made my own baby food, all the stuff that I 
Yeah, I know it's kind of crazy, but I was still drinking Dr. Pepper and eating Doritos, but my kids were eating healthy. But I had, you know, a group of friends, young moms. That was our value. You know, we wanted to do that. You know, we had the same values and uh, how we wanted to raise our kids. And then also we wanted them to have all this natural stuff. And of course, to be healthy. And I'm thinking this is their beginning of their life. You know, let's do this. And what's wrong with all these parents that can't make their kids eat what they want them to eat? You know, that whole judgmental, <laughs> hadn't been there yet role that we can have, you know, when we're young and an experience. So my kids were all under the age of eight and a friend of mine, she's actually still my neighbor, um, said, hey, um, you know, I've learned about this product. It's called Juice Plus. It is fruits and vegetables in a capsule, but they also have these chewables that kids can take. And by the way, your kids can get it for free. And um, I was like, well, that sounds good. And sure, you know, cause I've got, we're really good at cantaloupe and this kid eats carrots and that one will eat bananas. But I knew that it was, yeah, the rainbow. Yeah, of and, and you just don't have it's just a hassle. And it turns out it's not that easy. So um I was on board and I became a partner with the company because like a lot of products like that you can save money uh by signing up to be a distributor or whatever it is that that, that company calls it. And so there were six of us and it it made a lot of sense. So I did that and I was not interested in any sort of business. Um, but this product comes along with a community, like a lot of them do, and an education and just listening to videos, learning more, meeting people that didn't just do this for their kids, but, oh, there's research on this product and it's not just fruits and vegetables are healthy and keep you from getting sick. It turns out they, st they protect your DNA from getting damaged. They improve your mm -hmm. markers for your immune system. There's a lot of things. And began to be motivated not just for my kids but for me and so when the time came that I could either find another job to do work part-time or whatever when my kids were in school I was really interested in sticking with what I saw was happening with my friends in the juice plus community and so I started learning more about the business aspect of it and I had I like to tell people at this point this is like 12 years ago when I started so you know, seven, eight, nine years into it, I had enough knowledge of the character of the people in the company, the products. Um, the company actually next year is celebrating its 50th year. So it's not a, oh, wow. it's not a come and go. Juice Plus was not their first product, but Juice Plus has been around now for 26 years. And so we have research, we have testimonials, but we also have the rest of the world waking up to the fact that turns out plants are going to heal our body or help our body to heal itself mm -hmm. and a statistic I read the other day 90% of the people in the country are are not eating enough fruits and vegetables so mm -hmm. now we have a very nice affordable solution for people right I feel that um, the practicalness of it and it meets a definite need it meets a need that most people have also mm -hmm. <clears throat> to go to get from point A to point B to where I am now, I've had to go through a lot of personal growth and development and learned a lot um, about leadership, about mentoring, and just about myself. And so it's kind of an addicting process. <laughs> you know, when you, you go, wow, I used to be this way, but now I don't worry about that anymore. And so I like um, mentoring others. And obviously it's very satisfying to offer a mom something that can not only help her family get healthy, but can take away some of that fear and guilt that mm -hmm. some of us moms might have because we know fruits and vegetables. Yeah, we know what we know and we want to do better, but it's, it's not as easy as it looks as I learned from learning about my kids not eating everything I put in front of them. So that's so, how I got involved in the, as a product consumer as well as a business partner. Gotcha. So it sounds like, is that the most rewarding part of what you do? Um, or is there more to what makes it really rewarding? What makes it rewarding, I think, is, yes, I would say, it's definitely the relationships. I, I have something to offer people that they really need. Not to, um, not to knock other types of businesses, but it's, it's so much easier to share something with somebody when you know it has a potential of changing their lives. Mm -hmm. And so I do hear from people. Sometimes I don't hear from people. They just happily take the product forever and then I'll say, hey, you know, how's everything going? Oh, you know, I totally changed the way I eat now because of what we learned at Juice Plus. And so 
um, people having life-changing responses or just um, the relationships that I get to, to build with people that I didn't know before because we get to know our customers and then mm -hmm. you have other people and you know doing networking like that's how I met you um, creating relationships with people that you can have an influence on them and then they also bring something to your life but yes, the fact that it's something that I know can have a huge impact and solve problems for people, things that helped me that I was able to let go of. Um, and I have a track record of good health, which I know is a blessing and I can offer that mm -hmm. to other people. So, Very cool. So what is then the most challenging of what you do? Okay, the most challenging <laughs> of what I do, to be quite honest, I was thinking about this because she told me beforehand what she was going to ask me. Because I could say, you know, getting people to buy Juice Plus, but actually what's the hardest, I think, the most frustrating thing is not knowing who is going to be responsive to this opportunity and who is not. And I'm not just talking about the products, but also our business, because I really want to share this. I mean, I have a, I have a target of helping a thousand families get on Juice Plus. That's awesome. Yeah. And so I can do, it would take me a lot of years to do that because it's, because it's a lot of customers to help manage. That's not the way our business is set up. It's so that we just, we kind of multiply, help other people, you know, mm -hmm. with referrals, but just, you know, help somebody else share with their friends. Um, and so I'm, I'm doing both things. I'm trying to help people with the gaps in their, their nutrition, but also if they want to do a side business, if they don't, they just want to save a little, that's how I started. I just want to mm -hmm. save a little money. But I can look at someone and think, you know what? Their kids are always sick and they will really benefit from Juice Plus. And I think that's gonna be a perfect fit, yeah. but it's not. Or then there's a person that just overhears a conversation and I, I am, they got it all together. They seem super healthy. I would never even you know, be intimidated to talk to them and they go, what is that product? That's the smartest thing I've ever. So I, I get really excited because I think someone's going to respond positively and then they don't and so that's kind of challenging. challenging. I mean that's just the brutal honesty is just not knowing. Right. So the process, the personal growth aspect is how to just be generous with what you have but not have expectations. You know right. I always do this like holding it out to people <laughs> and not grasping at someone because um, right. I know it can it, it has a huge benefit but um, running around trying to predict who's going to be wanting to do it and invest in their health because there's a lot of sick people that aren't going to change anything, right. to be honest. Yeah, right. And, and it doesn't matter how much I try to educate them. If they aren't willing to change, then I, I can't I have to let that go. Letting go right. is the hardest right. thing. <laughs> Letting go of control. Yeah. Is that hard for anybody else? <laughs> Exactly. So, anybody who's hopping in, um, we are visiting with Ginger on about how nutrition is super important and sometimes nutrition is difficult for us to be able to, you know, take care of, to fine tune and she provides a product, Juice Plus, that pretty much floods your body with fruits and vegetables continuously to make sure that you are getting that targeted nutrition, you know, and a real quick reminder of our our pillars of health that I talk about and I teach you guys about is nutrition, exercise, stress, sleep, um, and reducing our toxin load, right? And when you're flooding your system with fruits and vegetables, you're targeting that nutrition, you're helping your body to be able to want to move, you are helping with de-stressing, you're gonna be able to sleep better, you're gonna be able to flood um, toxins out of your system. And what I love about what you do, Ginger, is that it is a perfect, Complement to the oils. It really and truly is. You know, with my oils and my supplements that I take with the oils, um, and then also uh, with the Juice Plus, it just, I'm continually being able to detoxify and to be able to make sure that, because I have the MTFHR um, SNP in my genetic line, any of you that have that, and so you know that you're not a natural detoxifier. So, me trying to make sure that I'm continually detoxifying properly um, because I have not only that but then I you know with also the Hashimoto's and the hypothyroid you know all those other different factors um, making sure that even though I make sure that I get tons of whole food fruits and vegetables 
but also taking in the Juice Plus allows my body to continue to flush. And so don't think that, oh, well, I already get lots of fruits and vegetables in, mm -hmm. that that is gonna be enough. Because again, like we've talked about before, our soil is so depleted these days that um, we need to be able to constantly take care of this garden, right? So you use essential oils as well. Right. I do. So tell me a little bit about your history with essential oils, how you came into or how you became familiar with essential oils. Okay. Well, I became, I think probably most people are mildly aware of essential oils because they're getting to be a lot more mainstream. And I, it's sort of just one of those things that was out there that I thought, you know, one day I, I would like to investigate that. And I, Eventually, uh, actually my mom and I went to a little workshop. It was very um, small, it wasn't super in depth. And we, I was looking for actually, how can this help allergies, honestly? And that was some, I was told, yeah, can you use that's, the, that's actually the first, I think. And I had thought about this, but a long time ago, cedar allergies, some, there was some thing people were selling and it didn't work for me, but something to try to deal with it. So I didn't, I wouldn't say that was the first education that I had about essential oils. And then my mom bought me some, and I liked using some in my water and things like that. And then I used the ones that help clear up your sinuses, and I was using some in, in a diffuser to support, I think, health, immune system. But it wasn't until, and I just, honestly, I told Kelly this. They were just sitting in my cabinet for a long time because I just wasn't, I wasn't educated about how I should be using them. I definitely always used the one that unstops your nose, breathe. I definitely had that and I used lemon in my water and all that stuff but I, I actually got reacquainted with them through Kelly because I said hey look I have this stuff and I'm not sure what to do with it and then we did the little scan mm -hmm. and scan. yes and so now I've got she's given me a few practical purposes and I use a website your Facebook group I've used that a couple of times even without bothering you um, <laughs> Which are not a father. You I know, know that. I've told you that. But before. I think it's fascinating. But the, 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 the missing thing, and I should have known this because it makes sense and it's obvious, but it was actually when we were talking about it at your workshop, it's the same thing as what Juice Plus does. It's a plant that instead of having the leaves of a plant to rub together, you know, like the mm -hmm. rub together, it's actually like Juice Plus, right. they've done the work to make this something that's out in nature, that's beneficial to my body, because I believe and you believe too, God made all these plants for us helpful. They all have different things mm -hmm. that they do. And it's just a accessible way right. to have this. So right. it's really, it's pretty cool to me to learn that all the different things that they do and sometimes it still like blows my mind. So, um, I'm trying to integrate them more as I have certain ones. I bought a couple of the ones that the scan told me that I needed. And then I asked Kelly, what else can I do with these since I already have them? And so um, I enjoy it. I like putting um, some of them in my water. And I really am learning to like and appreciate the On Guard cleaner because I told you I want one thing that does a lot of stuff. And so I've been using that. Very cool. So, Very cool. so yeah. what is your favorite oil so far? It changes a lot. Um, I think right now I like tangerine. Oh, so why? It tastes good. I put it in my water. <laughs> and um, a couple of times, I know because you told me if you're feeling like low energy, most of the time I don't feel that way. But there was a couple of days last week where I just felt tired. I, mean, I think it was probably just because I wasn't taking good care of myself. Not healthy habits and we're women we have emotions right. so sometimes yeah, that can bring cycle. us down. Yes. yeah and um <laughs> i didn't know you know that i could just put it on my skin on the back of my neck or just inhale it so i'm like oh, i got something for this i don't have to say i think that what we've talked about this people just accept their feelings being non ideal i mean like if you're sick you're sick you're not going to feel amazing but low energy so many people just go oh i just have energy that's just how it is i can't do anything about it but I don't, have, I don't feel that way anymore. Like, because I take my Juice Plus every day, so I feel pretty good most of the time, but I can just go get an essential oil and... Mm -hmm. And empower yourself with those yes. tools. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I do like putting different ones in my water. I put the lemon in my water. Cinnamon is amazing because it's sweet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have cinnamon, and I like putting peppermint in my 
not like I make hot chocolate with our protein, our plant based protein. Mm -hmm. I put a drop of peppermint in that cinnamon, oh, that's really good. cinnamon that's good and tea. Too. I made some chai tea oh, with our cool. coffee, and so I had to make something else. Before so I have chai, and I put a drop of cinnamon in there. Oh, that's cool. So I'm just learning to use yeah. things. It's kind of like having toys that you know. <laughs> I don't know. So I like it. And remember that whenever we're talking about essential oils here on Kelly Frick Connect, we're talking about doTERRA's oils specifically um, because we know that they are unadulterated. We know that they're therapeutic. We know that they're pure, that they're clean. And just like Juice Plus, you know, products, you know, there are probably things that are similar to Juice Plus, but they're not gonna be the same therapeutic, truly, you know, everything being done with care. And so again, the doTERRA oils are done with care and that there's that third party testing and all that stuff. So whenever we talk here, we're talking about nothing but therapeutic grade products and oils and, and stuff like that to make sure that it is truly enhancing our health and wellness. So with all of that, is there anything else that you would like to be able to share? with us before we hop off. Anything about your business? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I think that one of the things that I have really appreciated about this whole world, of not just our company, but doTERRA and other wellness-oriented businesses that Kelly and I know in town, is that you have a lot more control over your health than you probably think that you do. And even if we're not, I mean, we were talking about nutrition and essential oils that you use, but even your thoughts, the way you talk about yourself, the way you think, stress, um, and, and sometimes you're not going to get that message from maybe whoever you're seeking treatment from, but there's so much more, and that's been one of the biggest lessons that I think I have learned through my education through Juice Plus is you know, your DNA is not your destiny. That's one of the things that we say. Um, and so people don't sometimes value prevention the way they value treatment. Mm -hmm. And what I'm finding is that um, you can save a lot of money. <laughs> if you don't care about your health, you can at least care about your finances because when you're healthy, you are not visiting the doctor, you're not putting medications. Every time you take a medication for treatment, you're also putting more toxins in your body, so it can mm -hmm. get to be a wicked cycle. So my family invests in prevention, Kelly's family invests in prevention by putting things into our body that our body can use to detoxify, but also to support. Mm -hmm. And so what Juice Plus is, Juice Plus solves the problem of not being consistent in getting all the plant nutrition that you need. It makes it easy and affordable to get. Like what Juice Plus is, is probably what I should tell you. It's 30 different fruits and vegetables that are not genetically modified, grown organically, third party tested, juiced. It's actually not juicing though, because it's the whole thing, not just the juice. And then dehydrated. It's a blended basically. Yeah, it's blended, there. like the whole orange is thrown in there. So right. like they say, 70% of the vitamin C in orange is in the peel. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably yeah. what the, the oil probably comes a lot from the peeling. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Not. It just <laughs> seems like it. Um, so you're getting the ess essence of the fruits and vegetables, even to the extent that there's live enzymes in them. I know that's super cool. When you share that with me, yeah. Week, so you I was can like, actually, cool. it is dehydrated. That's the last step. So when you actually can open up a little capsule and stir it into some oatmeal, it'll start to break it down and digest it in the bowl. It'll liquefy it. So, um, so like, you know, you might have a great day where you eat all the things, but the next day you might not. This is consistent. And the, the other thing that's cool about Juice Plus is we actually have almost 40 different third party research studies that have shown basically it gets into the body and it does mm -hmm. the good things that you would that's expect cool. those fruits and vegetables to do immune function, um, antioxidant level, and um, inflammation is, is yeah. big, coronary, a lot of stuff, which we can always give a website or something that has yeah. all the stuff. But that's, that's just kind of the main thing is that to not buy into the message that it's inevitable you're going to get cancer. Yeah. I talked to one mom. She's like, well, it finally happened to me. I knew it would. And I was like, shut your mouth. Like, what is this? You're not going to talk yourself into getting cancer. No. Speak health. You know, your yeah. body, your mind hears what your mouth says, and it incorporates it all. Yeah. I don't expect to get sick, and I really don't. 
That's I mean, awesome. one time That's awesome. I get sick every like ten years and it sucks and I can kind of like it. So well, I mean, you're 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 using your tools. You're empowering right. yourself. You're protecting, you know, your your personal garden. You've got your fence, and then right. you know, also with the essential oils, we know that they help mm -hmm. because, like you said, our mind, you know, definitely changes how our body responds, how our how our brain responds, all stuff. And so with the oils, we can definitely help uplift that mind, change that energy vibration, and all that stuff, and be able to. Make sure that we're staying in that right mind mindset so yeah there's so much to learn and I really enjoy meeting people like Kelly and others who have a different piece of the puzzle than I yeah do. I know right? it's super cool. like I told her more than once I don't want to learn all that I just want to be <laughs> on your Facebook I can't I cannot so I know my thing I say in my lane <laughs> Every once in a while, I put my blinker on and I go in her lane but um, I'm grateful for the I'm grateful for all the movement of this, not just the people that make claims and throw stuff out there, but the companies like doTERRA and Juice Plus that can say, this is a documented thing that happens. And right. it also fits with what makes sense if you think about it. So in our right. our sick care focused society, if we can stay out of that, and, and if it costs me a little bit of money to stay healthy, I would A, I'm healthy, B, I'm saving money in the you're long actually, run. You're right, exactly. Right? You're actually saving money. Yeah, yeah for exactly. sure. That's a no-brainer. So, so if a person wants to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Well, they can e email me or text me. Should I just say it? Yes. Okay. What's your email? Ginger M, like Marie Hobbs, H-O-B-B-S, at gmail.com. My number is 512-507-8001. I like to text. I'm really good at texting. So Email. text first so that she knows. Actually, that. and you know, Facebook uh, message is awesome. Oh, yes. So Facebook messenger. send me a friend request and connect with me. That's super easy because oh. it just works for oh, yeah. And then we can connect. And so our website, I have a website. It's <laughs> ghobs.juiceplus.com. And that's going to be tons of information, but it's probably better for you to connect with me and, and I can ask you some questions and find out what your specific interest is and then yeah. I can send you some more targeted information. And well, I can get to close. know you. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what this is all about. Connecting. Right? And if you want to go straight to the website and order, you know, want to talk to me, that's totally fine too. Oh no, you want to talk to Ginger. <laughs> Trust me, you want to talk to Ginger. So it's not required. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I want to thank you guys for joining us here at Kelly Frick Connect. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and stay healthy. All right, take care. God bless. Seriously.